from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine the power blend plug-in effects uh, to create near enough infinite different gradients and color combinations. Now, there's actually a gradient uh, already displayed that was created using the power blend. It's uh, the gradients are not the gradients from uh, uh, Photoshop; they're actually color created gradients. So, uh, the plugin uses the foreground and background colors, so you can just set those to different colors. I'm just going to quickly set that to a different color. Now I'm going to filter, gradient, power blend. And at this moment it's just applying it to a new layer, so I don't want that. So I'm just going to quickly, not very good, flatten the image. I'm just going to go back, gradient, power blend. And I'm just going to reset it so it goes back to the default setting. I'm zooming a bit so you can see the gradient. And the plugin works on the basis of combining different gradients. So there's three different gradients which you can combine, and you can randomize through those quick and easy instead of going through all the different settings. You can just see different uh, gradients just going through there, and radial glow, and so on and so on. But I'm just going to randomize it, so it's just a quick and easy way to. So I'm just going to say that one. I like that one, so I can click OK at that point. Of course, you can now use the good old edit fade gradient and difference or darken and so on and so on. So straight away you've got different uh, color effects can be achieved just by using the, the Photoshop standard blends. You can also of course go back into the plugin and I'm just going to go back into the plugin now. Power blend and you can actually mix. So I'm just going to quickly click that gradient again. Just go randomize the gradient change some other settings you can tweak the color so you can make it redder so on and so on you just tweak those or apply extreme or different blends so now once you've done that you can always go go to the mix and there's RGB as well factor the sum you could actually mix the results create different combinations again click OK go to the edit fade gradient and and now go again through the different color options. Obviously, some work better than others. There's difference there. So straight away, you've got a unique gradient, which of course you can use as a source maybe for patterns, as well as brush strokes and much more. Obviously, combine it with other images or use it as a background or overlay, etc.